Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will be discussing about how to measure the aerial extent of rainfall. In the earlier lectures, we have discussed how to measure the rainfall. And the instrument used for measuring the rainfall was rain gauge. And using that rain gauge, we could know what is the depth of rainfall in a particular storm in a particular area and what is the intensity of rainfall how was the rainfall was it continuous or or it is stopped in between what was the total depth of rainfall in a single storm and multiple storms all these information could be obtained from recording rain gauges but if we have a particular area and we have this rain gauge located here so we could not know that up to what extent this rainfall is extending whether it is also happening here or also happening here or not this has to be determined whether what is the aerial extent of this rainfall because we have measured that this depth is obtained here but is it possible that we can say that in the whole area this rainfall is occurring this is possible only if we measure the aerial extent of rainfall up to what extent this rainfall is occurring so to measure the aerial extent of rainfall the instrument uses radar and from meteorological point of view it is called meteorological radars so the radar continuously emits electromagnetic radiations in the form of successive pulses there is a transmitter and receiver so if this is the pulse it will strike the droplet of water it will be reflected back and the echoes will be received here and the echo power the echo power will depend upon the intensity of rainfall how how is the intensity how much is the intensity of rainfall that will decide the echo power that is the echo received here so we can say that the echo power represented by pr is generally represented as cz upon r square where r is the distance of the target volume and z is the echo factor now this echo factor z is directly proportional to the intensity of rainfall in this form z is equal to a into i ki power b so before using the radar these a and b are the constant that has to be calibrated to calibrate this we require a recording rain gauge from where we can get the intensity of rainfall so we have the values of z and i we prepare a plot between z and i z and i z will be on y axis and i will be on x axis and then we prepare a logarithmic plot this value will give the the slope of the um, slope of this will give the value of b and this intercept can give us the value of a so in this way we can get the value of a and b from here once this value is obtained then we can easily use this expression here in this equation so it will be pr will be equal to c into a i b upon r square now you can see pr is directly proportional to the intensity of rainfall and in case i is zero then pr will be zero so when the area at which or the distance at which the rainfall is not occurring there will be no echo power and we can uh, say that up to this extent the rainfall is occurring in this way we can use this instrument radar for measuring the rainfall aerial extent of rainfall its in intensity even now doppler radar can tell us about the velocity distribution of 
uh, rainfall particles and its intensity and based on that we, and they, there is also a uh, arrangement in this radar that for different intensi intensities different colors are shown in the output so that we suppose red color is shown for very high intensity of rainfall so that can be used as an alert in this way these radars are very helpful to know the aerial extent of rainfall as well as the velocity distribution and intensity of rainfall in indian conditions generally the wavelength of these radars are 5 to 10 cm 5 cm wavelength is used for light rainfall and 10 cm wavelength is used for heavy rainfall thank you for watching our video please subscribe to our channel in the next video we will discuss about uh, the rain gauge density how much rain gauges are required in a particular area to get the rain rainfall data with certain accuracy thank you for watching our video